Melanie Bryan, good morning. Hey, it's 602, 602 on a thankful Thursday. Uh, as I was sharing earlier, uh, you know, I was having a, a dialogue with God this morning, um, a really, really fruitful dialogue. Uh, and uh, he, he actually led me to Ecclesiastes, uh, the third, hey, hey Miss O, Ecclesiastes, the third chapter, the 11th verse. And you got to check it out. Karen Stacks, what's up? You got to check it out. It, it was, God was really, really speaking this morning to me. Uh, but he asked, he asked me the question. He said, he, he asked me, do you understand why the sun and the moon don't compete with each other? <laughs> I was like, what? He said, do you understand why the sun and the moon don't compete with each other? And I was like, why God? He said, because they both have their time to shine. <laughs> the moon does not try to shine on the sun's time. And the sun does not try to shine on the moon's time. And, and he was saying in Ecclesiastes 3 and 11, it says, he has made everything appropriate in its time. He has also set eternity in their heart, yet so that man will not find out the work which God has done from the beginning even to the end. But here's the, here's the big part right here, the first sentence of 11. He has made everything appropriate, Patricia, in its time. Renita, so, so basically what God is saying that I don't have to be jealous of anybody else's time because I have my time to shine, TT. Uh, he says, the sun does not compete with the moon because the moon know its time and the sun know it's, you never catch the moon shining while the sun is shining. Can I talk to y'all this morning? So we never have to be intimidated by anybody else shining. Matter of fact, we should celebrate when somebody else is shining because it's their time. It's their, it's their appropriate time. God has set that time for them to shine and we should celebrate when somebody else shine. But you know what? Your time to shine is coming. And I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you one thing that I figured out in the business world, because there, there's a lot of there's a lot of doggy dog crab in the bucket kind of stuff, even in the in the body of Christ, even in the body of Christ. But I'm gonna tell you what I figured out why that occurs. And God was revealing this thing to me this morning. And this is what we got to pray about. I'm going to tell you why it occurs. It occurs because when a person has their time to shine, often they're not prepared to shine at their best. <laughs> Glory to God. Listen to what I'm saying to you. Uh, and, and because when you're not prepared, when you have not prepared, that's why Timothy says, study to show thyself approval. Workmen need not be ashamed, but rightly dividing the word of truth, watch this, because when your time to shine comes and you are not, you have not prepped yourself, you have not prepared yourself, you have not practiced, you cannot capitalize, you cannot optimize your moment to shine, then you become jealous when other people shine and when they shine at their best. And that's the spirit that has to be broken. And the only way that spirit can be broken for people not to be jealous when it's somebody else's time to shine is to make sure that when you get your time to shine, that you on point, that you ready, you prayed up, you worded up, you done practice. See, you know, you can't play, you can't play your best in the game if you ain't practiced before the game. You, you can't, you can't. You can't give your optimal performance if you have not rehearsed before the actual setting. And you got to be in a place, and that's what God was saying this morning. Hey, there's no competing between the sun and the moon. There's no competing because the sun knows in the day, that's my time. And the moon knows 
in the night, that's my time. I'm not going to trip off of you, sun, during the day. And sun is saying, I'm not going to trip off of you, moon, during the night. You got the night shift. I got the day shift. And that's where we have to get in the body of Christ, where we begin to understand that I might, I might not be the best pulpit speaker, but I guarantee you, I can catch somebody at Walmart and I will show you Jesus Christ like never before. I got, I got to know when my time to shine is, you know, people like, you know, Hey, why, why did Usher get to stand that door? Why? Because it's their time to stand that door. You might need to be in the parking lot. Your, your time to shine might be in the parking lot. But if you don't optimize your time to shine in the parking lot, you can't sit around and be jealous at the person whose time to shine standing at the door. You can't do it. So you got to understand it takes preparation. When we get up in the morning and we come to the strategic war room and we begin to receive this word from God, this illumination from God, we begin to receive all that God is saying. It prepares us for our appointed time. So when it's time for us to shine, something is coming out of us that's fruitful, that has impact, that has meaning. God is optimizing your time. Why do I have to pray? Why do I have to read the word? Why do I have to fast? Why? Because it prepares you for that moment of representation of the kingdom that God is going to elevate you to a spot and put the spotlight on you because it's your time to shine. I wish somebody understood what I was talking about in here today. I wish somebody would, would give me some hearts, give me some hearts because God was speaking so heavily this morning. He says the sun never competes with the moon and the moon never competes with the sun and the moon don't get jealous of the sun and the sun don't get jealous of the moon because they understand their appointed time. When it's somebody else's time to shine, you should be able to celebrate them. Look at my boy. Look at look at the sun. Look at my boy. I'm the moon standing over here looking at my boy, the sun, because he's shining. It's his time. It's his time. And guess what? As soon as the dusk begins to sit, the sun will step out the way and hold a plat hold his hand out saying come on in come come on in we have to learn how to do that in the body of Christ we have to learn how to do that in the business world we have to learn how to do that in our families we have to learn how to do that as husband and wife boyfriend and girlfriend i don't have to be jealous i don't have to compete with my mate i don't have to compete with my girlfriend i don't have to compete with my best friend I don't have to compete. Guess what? Because we all have our giftings. We're uniquely. The Bible says that we are fearfully and wonderfully made and we are not all made alike. No one of us are made alike. We all have a different fingerprint. We all have a different blueprint of our DNA. We all are different, which means we all have a different appointed time to shine. We got to make sure, you got to make sure that when your appointed time comes, Corey, to shine, that you're ready. You've done everything that you needed to do to prepare yourself for your moment. Guess what? Because when you shine in your appointed time and you're ready, you may not even have, you don't, you know, you know some of us feel like we got to shine every day. We feel like we got to shine every week. We feel like we got to shine every month. Guess what? When you're ready, for your appointed time to shine, when you're prepared for your appointed time to shine, when you've done your due diligence and you've grinded to the point that you have given God your very best, when is your time to shine? You're going to shine so bright, you may not need to shine again for another year because people still, they're still basking in the glory of your light because you God used you in such a manner that you shine and it impacted the memory and the mindset of people and people embraced. But why? Because your inst your level of inspiration was so intense through your preparation. That's what we're going to have hashtag today. My inspiration is so intense through my preparation <laughs> that people never forget that they never, never, ever forget. They never, they never forget. Somebody was sharing with me just yesterday that they hadn't been to church in a while and their children were riding down the street and they were listening to a song on the radio, My Hallelujah. 
and they said, that's Pastor's song. Mama, and they said, Mama, I miss Pastor. I want to go back and see Pastor. Why? Because when is your time to shine? When is your appointed time to shine? If you're prepared, if you're sincere, your inspiration <laughs> will make a major impact from your preparation. Y'all got that? Dean Good. What's up, man? Thank you for joining. Hey, so the sun never competes with the moon and the moon never competes with the sun. <laughs> and you got to remember that. That's a rule of life. That's a rule of life. I, I don't have to compete with anybody. I'm, I'm not in competition with anybody. You are not in competition with anybody. You are, you are not competing with anybody. You are you and you be the best you that you can possibly be. And if you be the best you, if you be the most prepared you, if you be the most well studied, well prayed up you, you're going to outblast. You, nobody be able to stand next to you because you're you. You're you, man. You're you. You are you. And there is no other. There is that. There, there is no other. Guess what? All the copycats in your life, they will never have the value that you have. I, I saw this quote the other day. The original always has the highest value. All the other copycats, you can buy them at Walmart. And you may have a lot of copycats in your life that may be competing with you, but that's all right. That's all right. Mockery is flattery, right? But you're you. You're the original. And there will never be another you in this lifetime. There will never, ever be another you in this lifetime. Be the best you that you could be. All right, it's 614. Come on, let's get in this prayer room. If you have some prayer requests, yeah, inspiration and preparation will make the shine greater. You got that right. If you got some prayer requests that you need to type in over here on Instagram, go ahead and type it in, type it in. Black Barbie, if you got some, type of, type it in. Miss O, if you got some over here on Periscope, you type it in. If you got some over here, Sean Gunn, go ahead and type in your prayer request, man. Go ahead and put in whatever concerns that you have. Remember, it's not just me praying, but we're praying together. Man, this has been a major word this morning. This been <laughs> The original has the highest value. Yes, Corey. The original will always have the highest value because guess what? Anything else is just a chip off the original block. <laughs> It's a chip. You just a chip off, off of the original. You cannot be duplicated, Yolanda. You can't. You will never, ever be duplicated. You have your own fingerprint, your own DNA, and God made it that way. 615, remember, it's not just me praying. I want you to put in your prayer request, and I want you to share as we're praying with people that they may jump in because the more we gather together, the more we come together, Jay Henderson, we bless the people of God to understand how we can function and operate in unity and operate in love. Come on, let's give God this, this prayer this morning. Let's petition him. Gracious Heavenly Father, God, we thank you this morning uh, for being King of Kings, God. We bless you and we thank you this morning for sitting on your throne. We thank you for being the author and the finisher of our faith. We thank you that you control it. God, we thank you that alarm clocks don't even wake us up. And we, we fail to acknowledge that it's your finger that, that wakes us up each morning. God, we, we understand that alarm clocks don't wake us up because if alarm clocks woke us up, you could put one in the cemetery and when it went off, people would get up. They don't get up because God, you are a mighty God. You're mighty that you will wake each one of us up at the appointed time each and every morning. God, we bless you and we thank you that even in your creative ability, God, you can function in different time zones and wake us up on time. Hallelujah. We bless you and we thank you this morning because, God, you have all knowledge. We thank you for the word that you've sent to us through Ecclesiastes 3 and 11 this morning, that, God, everything has its appointed time to be beautiful. Everything has its appointed time to shine. Everything has its appointed time to be what you made it to be. And God, you've orchestrated and set the stage and you've set the appointments and you, you've set open the doors at the right time and you close some doors at the right time. And we bless you and we thank you this morning, God, for your infinite wisdom and your power and your glory. We worship you as we lift our hands and surrender, saying we submit all things unto you. Because, God, every gift that we have, every creative ability that we have, you gave it to us and we bring it under your under your control right now. We submit it 
unto you right now, God, that it may come under your mission, under your kingdom agenda, and that it may be used to your glory. What profit the man to gain the world yet lose his soul? So God, everything we have and everything that we we, we possess, God, we, we give it and we surrender it back to you. Now, we thank you for the blood of Jesus that was shed at Calvary. God, so that we might have a right to even come to your throne room this morning. We thank you, God, for that ability to be able to even repent of some of the evil thoughts, some of the iniquity that exists within our minds or that may have been spoken out of our mouth or may have been acted out through our flesh. God, we ask that you will give us power to repent from being so fleshy. God, we thank you and we ask you this morning that you will wash us in the blood, that we shall be renewed, that we may experience the weight of your grace in your mercy. We bless you and we thank you this morning because even as we're praying this morning, we feel the power of liberation coming down on us, that our minds are set right, that we may no longer be bound by the guilty stain. We thank you and we bless you this morning, God, for doing what you are doing. Now, God, we thank you because you've made us uniquely. As your word says, you made us fearfully and wonderfully. And God, we thank you for your creativity in making us. And Father, we are not ashamed of what you've done. Every everything that you've given us natural, even though there are some people that are not very proud of what you made. Father, we repent of not being proud of what you made. We thank you that you made us the way that you made us. We thank you that you shaped us the way that you shaped us. We thank you that you've given us the skin tone that you've given us. We thank you, God, that you've given us the color eyes that you've given us. We thank you, God, that you've given us the speech that you've given us. We thank you, God, that you've given us the walk that you've given us. We thank you, God, that you've given us the hands and the nails that you've given us. We thank you, God, that you've given us the hair that you've given us. And we bless you and we thank you this morning, God. And we we walk in great respect of your creation. And God, we thank you for your uniqueness that you've done through us. We thank you that we don't have to look like Beyonce. But we, what you've made in us is better than Beyonce. God, we thank you that we don't have to look like Denzel. We're thankful that you made us uniquely and we're better than Denzel. God, we thank you right now that in our time, we outshine anybody. We're not in competition with anybody. God, we thank you that right now in the body of Christ, the spirit of competition is being broken. The spirit of competition among pastors and the spirit of competition among people who serve and the spirit of competition among people in the workplace and the spirit of competition among people in the street as they battle. God, we thank you that the spirit of competition is being broken. Why? Because you made us uniquely and you've given us an appointed time to shine. You've given us a point in time to be who you've called us to be. And it doesn't have to be in competition with anybody. All we have to do is be prepared for the appointed time. Now, Father, prepare us through the power of your word. Prepare us through the power of your revelation. Prepare us through the power of your rhema. Prepare us through the power of the Holy Spirit. Prepare us through the power of your dunamis power, God, that we may explode on a whole nother level in our knowledge and our wisdom and our understanding. Open up our minds. Let our minds not be conformed to this world, but let it be transformed by the renewing of your word. Let us move forward. Let us present our bodies as a living sacrifice day over day, doing the things that you have called us to do. Let us focus on what you have instructed us to do, that we may rightfully serve you, that we may rightfully pray unto you, that we may rightfully worship you, that we may rightfully in the appointed time rehearse and practice all that we need to do to be in right relationship with you so that when it's our time to shine, hallelujah. God, when we hit the stage, there's an anointing that comes down on us like nothing else. There's an illumination. There's a power that hits us like nothing else. There's a passion and a purpose that flows through us like nothing else. And God, to your glory, it shall be that as we begin to shine, that they will know that we are your children, that we are the sheep of your pasture, that we have been under your tutelage, that your hand is on us every step of the way. Glory be unto your name, dear Father, that as today, as we prepare ourselves day over day, that as we come in here day over day, as we pray day over day, God, it is to your glory that when the moment comes, ah, every devil in hell shall flee. 
for upon this rock you have built your church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. But God, we are victorious on every level and we thank you. We thank you for innovation. We thank you for creativity. We thank you for witty ideas. We thank you for witty inventions. We thank you for everything that you will birth and drop and deposit into our spirit that we may be the sons and daughters of the living king. We thank you, God, that you have even called us to a place that if we suffer with you, will reign with you. God, the moment, the appointed time is coming. I pray, God, that you prepare us all, that when it's our time to shine, we don't walk away feeling embarrassed. We don't walk away feeling guilty. We don't walk away feeling shameful. We don't walk away feeling jealous because somebody else was prepared in their time. Prepare us, oh Lord. Send us the power of your Holy Ghost. Send us the wisdom of the Holy Spirit that it may speak to us every step of the way throughout our day. We thank you for this thankful Thursday, God. And we praise you, God, that you're going to do uh, and, and, and you're going to do incredible feats through us that we may bring you glory on every level. It's in Jesus name that we say hallelujah and amen. Hallelujah. You better thank God for what he's done in you. Thank God for your time. Ask God to prepare you for your time to shine. Hallelujah. I praise God. I praise God, Tasha. <laughs> I praise God for everything that he does to prepare me for my time. Don't want to be released before it's my time, Sharon. Don't, don't want to be out there before it. I don't want to shine out of my time. In Jesus name. Hallelujah. I want you to hit your share button. I want you to share this word and share this prayer with somebody this morning because they will need it. Stand your ground and wait for your time to shine. Now, there's some people that may have joined inside the prayer, inside the strategic war room this morning. It may be your first time. This may this may be your first time that you've caught us. Hey, a couple of things that I want you to do is number one, I want you to hit that hit that that button so that you get the notifications. Hit the subscribe button uh, at the end on Facebook. It'll it'll be a button that pops up. I want you to hit that button so you can get the notification. And if this is your first time, or if you've been in here before and you feel like your relationship may have been severed or that there may be some complications in your relationship with Christ. There may be some, some gaps. You, you may have experienced some, some breakdowns. You may have experienced feeling distant from the very presence of God. It's very, very simple. God wants you to be restored. He wants you to be renewed. He wants you to be in right relationship with him through redemption. And he wants you to know without a doubt in your mind that your salvation is secured on every level. And you can do that today. You can reassure yourself of that today by making this confession with me. I want you to repeat these words after me. I believe in Jesus Christ, the son of the living God, that he died for my sins and that he rose again with all power in his hand. And the power that he has in his hand is redemption, rest restoration and renewal and my salvation. And because of that, I am saved. I am redeemed, I am renewed, I am restored, and my relationship is right with Christ. If you made that confession today, I want to thank God for your faith. I want to thank God for your confession. I want to th thank God for what he's doing and getting ready to do in your life. I ask that because of your confession, if you have not a church home, that you connect yourself with a Bible-believing, Christ-centered church. And if you can't find one, I want you to inbox me. I want you to put in the comments. I need to be connected. We'll have a team of people that will reach out to you and they will get you connected. I don't care where you are. We've had people in, 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 in Kenya, over in Nigeria, in Africa that we are connected to and we can get you connected to the church. We have people in Russia and we can get you connected. We have people in China, North Carolina, South Carolina, Florida, Dean, Dean over there in Florida can get you connected to a faith institution that will help you grow, that will prepare you for your appointed time. We ain't got time to be playing. People be sitting at home. You ain't got time to be playing. Your preparation is important for your destination. You got to get ready. You got to be studied up. You got to be right. You got to be ready to move forward. God's getting ready to do some great things with you, but you got to be ready when he starts doing them. Hey, I praise God for you. 
Powerful word on this morning. Make sure you reach out and share with somebody. Tomorrow is donation day. Tomorrow's donation day. And I'm asking that you all get ready, prepare yourself to sow a seed tomorrow on donation day on Faithful Friday. And I'll see you in the morning at 6 a.m., 6 a.m. sharp as we close out the week with our last prayer for the week in the strategic war room. I thank God for you. All of our battles are fought and won before 6.30 a.m. every morning. We live the rest of the day in victory. As I always say, change is good, but transformation is better. Hey, have a thankful Thursday and give God some praise. It's your time to shine. Hi, everybody. I'm Apostle Bill Anderson. Hey, the Strategic War Room Prayer, Monday through Friday, 6 a.m., right here on Facebook Live. If you don't have Facebook Live, I don't know how you're looking right now, but if, if you don't have it, you can catch us on Periscope, you can catch us on Instagram, and you can catch us on YouTube. I look forward to seeing your face in the place as we go to God in prayer, Monday through Friday, 6 a.m., it's the strategic war room where all of our battles are fought before 6.30 a.m. I'll see you coming up this week. Wake on up. It'll be a blessing to you.